What's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video, man. I'm still having problems with the 350s. Hey, so y'all know I changed the thermostat in my last video because of overheating problems. And after that, I go to drive it, man. You know what I'm saying? I think I, I, I bled it um, the right way. You know what I mean? And I'm st it's still getting hot. You know what I'm saying? To make this long story short, the car is still getting hot. It's not getting hot as fast, but... Um, you know, let's say I take it for a spin and I get on it like real hard. Um, the temp gauge will slowly start to rise up. You know, when I get to cruising again, it will go back to, you know, regular temp like in the middle. So, um, you know, I'm, I, I believe I still have air in the system. And I was told that the VQ engines, they're hard to bleed. Like, it's, I know people that, that told me that they, they bled their engine for, for two hours or more or, some people just bled their engine for 30 minutes, you know, real quick. But, man, I want to go buy this tool. And this tool should do the trick by helping me get all the air out the system. All right, y'all, excuse the mess. But we got this tool right here, right? So this is called a coolant refiller with airlock preventer. You know what I'm saying? Company's uh, robbing the air. Got it from Summit Racing. You know, it looks pretty weird, man, but... <clears throat> Pretty much what this does, it um, I'll show y'all how to use it. But you'll put it on the radiator, right? Put this on the radiator cap, and um, you pretty much have a, a compressed. So you have to have a compressor, air compressor, and you connect it to this part right here, and um, you got to turn it on, and it builds pressure, right? And there's a needle right there. Let me take this thing off, but I'll show you. I'll show you guys, but you know, it's it's pretty straightforward pretty easy tool to use you know what i'm saying i spent some money for this tool so this should better work so uh, one thing you do have to do though is uh you do have to drain out the uh, the coolant out the radiator so um we got the z right here and um jack it up drain the coolant out um uh, and uh we'll go from there make sure most of the coolant is out of there that thing will pretty much suck all the remaining coolant out the system um if there still is any so uh let's go ahead and drain that coolant all right guys so here we are got the gauge got the side where your your compressor connector whatever you want to call it goes here got the vacuum release button and then you got the this is where the coolant come from cool little thing filter keep all the big stuff out of there and you have a valve from to open it and close it all right so make sure you have a clean bucket right you can put this in the bucket of your coolant make sure it's pretty full right so we're pretty much um we're gonna prep it so we're gonna get some fluid in the hose line all right y'all so what you would want to do is uh get you a bucket right prime it make sure this is valve is open and uh excuse this loud ass uh compressor i have a small compressor so it's going to take me a longer time to fill this up anyway yeah you want to prime it make sure you got uh coolant in the lines right make sure there's no big bubbles and uh you're pretty much just as i'm letting this air up you want this gauge to go up you want it to go all the way to 25 or you know 30 the more the better and what you're gonna notice is the whole sucking like closing right you can see it right here so you're gonna notice all the hoses closing that's fine that's supposed to do that so uh we're gonna wait a little while because I got this baby ass compressor and once it get all the way to the green pretty much 25 uh we'll go from there so yesterday I ran into some issues um i did get a bigger compressor you know what i'm saying this one wasn't cutting it wasn't strong enough it would only go up to like 15 15 psi and it would like struggle to suck more air um so why not get a bigger and stronger one you know what i'm saying this is a uh 150 150 psi uh six gallon um, this one I think was just a hundred 
Yeah, this was a two gallon one and 100 PSI. So this is should definitely do the job. Um, we're gonna reconnect everything and uh, hopefully this this uh, compressor does a job. It was holding pressure though, like it wasn't uh, going down. So I know I don't have any leaks in the system. So um, yeah, let's get this connector real Guys, so this compressor works. Um, I just let it refill up a little bit. Um, yeah, so I got the water primed up in there. I'm gonna press it again just to make it uh, go in the green. Uh, so far it's held it right there for the most part. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna just prime it up some more. Let's see if we can suck some more uh, air up out of this. Man, what's good, y'all? So, this is probably like a couple of days later. And I'm just gonna get straight to it. It didn't work. It worked, but it couldn't hold pressure, which means I have a leak somewhere. Uh, but could be a hose, could be a leak in a radiator, could be, it could be anything, man. So, as of right now, I'm just troubleshooting um the issue with it overheating it doesn't do it real quick but i want to say like 15 minutes of driving it would slowly like rise up and then it'll go like kind of down to the middle so it like fluctuates a little bit um what i'm gonna do tomorrow is uh take the radiator out and clean it like flush it out because i think there's a little bit of dirt in it i'm not sure because when i was uh i was bleeding it yesterday with the spill uh spill free funnel and some dirt was coming up you feel me so um hopefully it's just a clogged radiator it hasn't really gave me too much signs of it being clogged but maybe it's maybe some maybe i don't know like i said i'm just troubleshooting some shit we're gonna get through this uh, i'm gonna stay positive yeah stay tuned on the next video man i don't know if i'm gonna record me flushing it out or um i just let you know so uh hopefully we find the issue pretty soon i'm pretty sure it's something real simple and maybe I just haven't didn't just see it or anything like that. So um if you stuck all the way to the end of this video, man, I appreciate you. Um make sure if you hit make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Um and I'll see you guys in the next video, man. Peace.